Hello, in this video we're going to maximize output subject to a cost constraint. A firm wants to maximize output subject to a limited production budget, a cost constraint. We're given the firm's production function. Q, the quantity of output, equals the following, where L is units of labor and K represents units of capital. We're going to be given the marginal products of labor and capital, so the marginal product of labor, which if you're doing calculus is just a partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor. And then we get the marginal product of capital, and that's going to be given to us. And again, if you're doing calculus, it would just be the partial derivative of the production function with respect to capital. So this is all given, and we're also given our cost constraint. We have only $8,000 to spend on units of labor and capital. And in the market, the wage rate is $80. And the price of capital, R, is $20. So our goal is to produce as much output as possible, given our production function, and given that we only have $8,000 to spend and face the following market prices. So step one is let's write the equation for the cost constraint. Let's get that out of the way. So the general equation for the cost constraint is going to be how much money do we have in our limited production budget equals the wage times units of labor plus the price of capital times units of capital. So C is 8,000. We said the wage was 80 and the price of capital was 20. Step two, we're going to write the cost minimizing input condition, which is given as the marginal product of labor divided by the wage equals the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. Alternatively, we could write that condition as follows, just dividing through by the marginal product of capital and multiplying through by the wage. And if we're to write it like this, the left-hand side, the marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital, is what we refer to as the marginal rate of technical substitution. So sometimes in these problems, instead of, given, instead of being given the marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital, you might be just given the marginal rate of technical substitution. And so if you're given the marginal rate of technical substitution, you can just set that equal to the wage divided by the price of capital. So substituting in our values into A here, the marginal product of labor from the first screen divided by the wage 80 equals the marginal product of capital, which again we saw was given to us on the first screen, divided by the price of capital. And we want to solve this either for L or K, doesn't matter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just multiply everything through by 80. So 80 divided by 20 is where this 4 is coming from. And then I'm going to follow the rules of exponents. L to the minus 1 half power can just be written as 1 over L to the 1 half power. And I do a similar thing to the right-hand side with K to the minus 1 half power. I move that into the denominator as follows. And then the next step I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply everything through by L to the 1 half. And I'm going to multiply everything through by k to the 1 half. So on the left hand side, we're going to have k to the 1 half times k to the 1 half, which is just k. And then on the right hand side, because I'm multiplying everything through by l to the 1 half, we're going to have l to the 1 half times l to the 1 half. We're just going to have l, and that's going to all be multiplied by 4. So that's what I have over here now after simplifying the last step. And we're going to plug this into the cost constraint, which we already developed. Here's our cost constraint. So where we have K, we're going to plug in 4L. And simplifying. So we want to hire 50 workers. And in terms of units of capital, since K equals 4 times L, and we're using 50 units of labor, we're going to use 4 times 50, or 200 units of capital. The amount of output we can produce with this input mix, take our production function and just plug in 50 for L and 200 for K. And simplify it. 
we'll be able to produce 200 units of output. So given we have a production budget of $8,000 and the market prices that we face, the most output we can produce is 200 units. Okay, that's it. I hope you like this video.